travel to almost any national park in East Africa. And you can see lions. But outside the parks, these captivating creatures are dwindling fast. No one knows that better than Lawrence Frank, who has studied lions for more than 30 years. The public and even the conservation world is not aware of the serious trouble that these animals are in. We know a lot about how lions stalk their prey on the open plains, but how do they hunt in the dense bush and at night when they're most active? For that bit of dangerous detective work, there's Critter Cam, an innovative camera system created by National Geographic's Greg Marshall that can ride along with a lion. I think it's absolute madness to come all the way to Africa to try it on a lion, which has got to be one of the toughest tests of a piece of technology uh, you could imagine. Uh, I'll be astounded if this works. Remember, the Critter Cam unit has to withstand bounding speeds of more than 30 miles an hour, jarring leaps of 30 feet or more, and the violent collision of flesh that is a lion kill. The team tracks a lioness named Layla. She's already wearing a radio collar. And she may have developed a taste for cattle. Up since we're going to want her down for a long time. Lawrence gives Layla a full physical, all part of keeping tabs on the health of this particular lion population. 34.7. Then comes the camera which is equipped to send a live signal back to the crew. Another first for Critter Cam. Ooh, they're, they're bad. Oh my God. The first shots are of Layla's homecoming with the cubs and lionesses of her pride. Right and the, the camera game. withstands that gentle oh, attention. We might now get the uh, lion crunch test. Oh, crunch. <laughs> the next day, when the crew signals the camera to transmit, it's a family feast. The second critter cam goes on a lioness named Haley, the other adult female in Layla's pride. And what appears that night on the crew's monitors is the sight of two lionesses hunting. Thanks to night vision, the crew captures a rare look at teamwork between two big cats. After more than a week of riding with lions, it's time to retrieve the equipment. The Critter Cam crew can release the cameras by remote, but retrieving them takes a while. 
the cubs are curious. The first terrestrial critter cam weathered every bash and bump the lions gave it. A zebra feast. Hours of abuse in the bush. And the dreaded cub chew test. I never expected it to work for more than five minutes, and it hung in there for over a week. This test gives Lawrence one more tool as he attempts to learn more about how these large cats can live with their human neighbors. Wouldn't the world be an incredibly impoverished place if there weren't large predators? A world without wilderness and wildness and personified by these big predators simply wouldn't be worth living in.